Hi, I am Ankush Datta. In this video, I will show you how to build and simulate single area load frequency control model using Simulink. First, type Simulink in the MATLAB command window. The Simulink startup page will open. In this page, we have got all the blocks which are essential to build a new Simulink model. Now, we open a new Simulink model by clicking on the new model for designing the Simulink model for single area load frequency control we need three transfer functions click on the continuous tab and drag the transfer function block we need three transfer function blocks just right click on the transfer function block and drag the mouse First block corresponds to the speed governor block. The time constant of speed governor is 0 0.08. So we change its value. The time constant of speed turbine is 0.3. The value of gain of generator load model is 120. Whereas the value of time constant is 20. Now we link all these transfer function blocks. And now let's arrange the various blocks which are essential to design this model. We need one gain block which represents the sensor block. We need two summing blocks. One scope block. One constant block. We change the value of speed regulation constant its value is 1 by 2.4 this acts as a feedback signal which is given back to the speed governor we change the signs of the summing block to plus and minus the constant block is linked to the positive sign and negative block is linked to the speed governor block. We change the value of constant to 0 because it represents that there is no change in the speed changer position. Now we simulate the block. This is the output straight line it corresponds to the constant frequency that is the frequency is 50 hertz now we see the effect of change in load on the power system for that we need a step block the value of this step block its step time is changed to 0 and final value is changed to 0 0.02 that is change in load is 2% the change in load is always connected to the negative sign of the summing point. So it is connected to the negative point and the output of the steam turbine is connected to the positive block. And then we again link this block to the speed governor block. We simulate the block. We see that with increase in load on the power system there is a fall in frequency this is what is load frequency that how to change the frequency yeah what is the effect of change of load on the frequency that's it thank you for watching